Hey guys, you big bunch of beautiful bar stewards. In today's video, we're looking at hunting rabbits with air guns. Uh, it's probably one of the UK's most popular quarries to hunt with air rifles and can notoriously be difficult at night time, especially if you don't know just quite how far that rabbit is. You can often shoot over it and sometimes and often shoot under it. So the boffins at night sight have introduced a new laser rangefinder to tell you the exact distance between you and your quarry. And that's all well and good knowing exactly how far it is, but you then need to know exactly where to aim on your reticle to be able to pull off the shot. So I've come down to the farm today with a printout of my scope's reticle to be able to mark on here the exact placement of different shots at set distances. Therefore when I go out later on this evening, if I ping a rabbit with a laser rangefinder and it tells me it's 40 yards, I know exactly where to aim on my crosshair to be able to pull the shot off. Now somebody who's an expert at this is Team Fox's very own Ian, who sends me plenty of clips uh, to keep you entertained. And if you want to get straight into the action, then jump to this time down below. If not, stick around and we'll get cracking with the sighting in. Right, so the box is down here at 20 yards which is what the rifle should be set in at <clears throat> now i've added um one of these pard things onto it here uh, because the daytime recording from that's very good uh, and you will be able to see exactly what i can see through the scope so we'll take a shot or two at 20 yards push it back and then start to record on the reticle sheet of paper that i've got um, exactly where those shots are hitting uh, and like i said most of the rabbits i anticipate that we'll be taking should be between kind of 30 and 50 yards so um, right let's take these first shots and then start recording what the drops like <clears throat> right, so I'm going to go for the same target, but this time I've moved it back five more yards. So 25 yards, I wouldn't expect the drop to be too dramatic. But I'm going to go for that same target again. Yeah, you can see that went a tiny bit low. Now there is a bit of breeze, which I think is what's moving the pellets ever so slightly to the left. So... 25 yards, it, uh, oh, an extra 5 yards should I say, it's dropping just shy of an inch, but it's group, still grouping very well. Alright, so this is at 30 yards now. <coughs> We're going to go for the target on uh, the right. Now, my prediction at this distance is that it should be that first notchal down, so it should be having to aim, and I've illuminated the reticle to try and see it a little easier, but it should be about here where we should be able to aim to hit the ball but I'm going to put the crosshair on it first see what the drop is like and that pretty much is that notch all that actually so let's do that put the notch on the cross on the bullseye that first notch or then exactly for 30 yards so there we go I've got my marking here and that first notch or there is 30 yards <coughs> so I reckon if we go in five yard increments, we should start to see uh, this reticle play into its own. So we're now going to push it back another five yards and go from there. It's actually gone a little bit lower than the dot, that one. Oh, 
it's actually in between the dot and that dash. Alright, so 35 just below the dot. Right, 40 yards. 40 yards, so that's should be about there. Pretty good. Oh, the same hole. Very consistent. That's a good group that of 40 yards. There we go. That's pretty handy to know. Let's mark that down on the sheet. Well, at 40 yards, that's very consistent. <coughs> it's quite an impressive little group as well. I put three shots aiming with that second line down. So first line dot, second line down is my 40 yard marker. Look at this for a group. Got three shots all in there, look. At that distance. I mean, the grouping's not bad anyway. You know, these here testing the drops. Um, so we'll try this one at 45, and then we'll go out to 50, just to see where we're at. No, but if we can hit that at 40 yards, we should be bowling rabbits over, no problem. Well, that's 45 yards that's out at now. Oh, that dropped well low. Right, so I've brought the box back to just under 40 yards and having now worked out all of the aim points out to 50 yards, uh, we should theoretically uh, be between the first mill dot and the second line down. So I'll aim just above the second line. I'll take a shot at one of the targets and I've got a line of stones along the top of the box. And if we can successfully take all of those off um, I would say that the rifle and my confidence in the aim points uh, at that point would be pretty spot on so start to record Attaching the additional laser range finder as part of your night sight setup is very easy to do. It's simply put your night sight on as normal and then there is an additional bracket which goes over the mounting system allowing you to be able to mount it just to the left of your head unit. It's supplied with a handy rat's tail switch which you can affix to the stock allowing you to be able to control the laser rangefinder with the simple touch of a button from the stock. Now you can actually fix the laser rangefinder in place with that bolt going into that hole there. I don't, the bracket actually holds it perfectly firm enough. Uh, it is also supplied with a metal bracket enabling you to be able to put it onto a Picatinny style rail and then fix it all into place with this Allen key. But like I said, I don't do that with mine. It, it holds it firm enough so there's no need to actually screw it uh, into place. 
So later on that night, myself and Mark head out onto the rabbits. I took my box along with me with some fresh targets on it, just to put a couple of rounds in at night time, shooting off of the sticks this time to make sure that uh, my markers at 40 yards were bang on. So it's uh, there, and yeah, we get a decent little group. Two shots, I think, are placed into this box target here before we went out uh, to have a look for Bugs the Bunny. Yeah. All right. Using the new Sentinel Pro spotter, we're able to have a look around the paddock, um, spotting the rabbits so that we're not spooking them with the lamp. I actually see one and gesticulate to Mark that it's roughly 70-ish yards, um, so we need to get a little bit closer. If you look closely there, you can just see the rabbit to the left of that electricity box there. Undercompensated for this one here and actually gave it a haircut. Luckily, it stopped a few yards back. So I just reconfirmed the distance and uh, made sure of it with a second one. Got a succession of clips now from Team Fox's Ian on the Day State Wolverine C type, uh, just showing what can be achieved here with a 177 caliber sub 12 foot pounder. don't think we quite need a rangefinder for this one.
Right, so we've had ourselves a small bag of rabbits. Um, as you probably saw there, the rangefinder proving invaluable. Definitely worth setting up on a box before we went out. Um, we're now going to switch the night sights over onto the HMRs because we've got another permission to go to where it's okay to use the rim fires. Um, not so noise sensitive um, and, and a bit safer backstop wise uh, because there's also a few rabbits kicking about there that we need to take care of. So let's hop over there and see how we get on. Oh right, so it's not a rabbit, but hey, who can resist a rat splatting while we're there? It'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. You can follow the instant action on Instagram with team underscore foxer. Get in contact with the email on screen. Take care, stay safe and happy shooting.